What's up, y'all? Uh, today I'm working on this. I'm going to separate this out into different layers and make this into an animation for the, the intro. And it's going to be a parallax scene. So there's going to be a lot of like background layers. Oh, there's clouds too. What are these clouds? Yeah, so I'm working on this scene, just kind of filling it out, adding more clouds. Oh, those are the foreground, background clouds. This will look pretty cool once it's all said and done. Then there's this foreground rock too. So there's one, two, three, four. Basically five layers, one of them doesn't move. Or, oh, or it could move a little actually, that would look sweet. <clears throat> What's up, Teak? Welcome, man. How you doing today? So the first thing is to separate it into more layers. There's gonna be a lot of cloud layers, actually. Okay. So one layer at a time. I should get these things into like their own layers. It's the bike, so that's kind of like its own layer. Well, what's up? What's up, Pedro? Arcane? Yo. What's up, guys? How's it going today? Here's the foreground rock. Foreground clouds. Tower. Land. Yo, what's up, Henko? Henko, I saw your, I saw you, or I saw a sign of Henko yesterday or the other day. Like I was watching, um, this guy with this awesome voxel game came on and he was sharing his game. This game's awesome, but you were on there in a screenshot and had Henko. I'm like, I know Henko. Oh. Seek that one little chance. All right, so we'll turn off the tower, foreground, bike. Light, all right, we got the background layer. Nice, let's render this. It's gonna be kind of a complicated little process here, but once I got all these layers rendered, I can start animating it. Oh wait, this is the type like uh, intro to yeah this needs to go in this sprite sheet here. Is there a surface zero? No, uh, day four hundred one. I just did a a video, an offline video, so it's up on YouTube. It is a small world, right? What's up, Overcaster? What's good? Everything. Here's day 401. 401, I build this like, uh, um, I do this scene, I get the scene started here. Yeah, right on. Yep. The game's coming along really good. I'm really happy with how everything's turning out. It's like really, really satisfying. Okay, so I gotta turn off this layer now. 
Where are they, why are these stars? Oh, turn off the stars too. Oh, the stars are their own layer. Whoops. Okay, so this is zero. Okay, yeah, this has got to be Xera surface zero. And uh, okay, next layer is these background clouds, but I think I can get away with the clouds I've already got. Hmm. Okay, so I only want this layer to affect or to only affect that selection for a second. I'm gonna have to kind of mess with that all the time. Oh, I could duplicate this light layer. Eh, this is kind of the thing when you do a complicated piece of art. It's not even finished, but like when you do a complicated piece of art like this, um, with like lots of lighting and stuff, the lighting gets really hard to export into make and do like an animation. Either that or I don't have the right process. Maybe I just need to figure out a better process for how to do these big animations, cutscenes. I don't know. I don't need my timeline today. Okay, I got that. I think that I got some clouds for that. This rock foreground. Maybe it shouldn't be affected. Nah, it should be affected by light too. What's up? What's up, PMC? Okay, so here's where it gets kind of wonky. I've got to like delete this layer mask and then recreate it for whatever I'm exporting. But at least it's some, um, it's not that, it's not that hard. Okay, so this is layer Xera surface two. Really, it's only two. I guess we've already got clock. Yeah. Okay, it's surface two. Um, new setup. Oh no, no, we have a friend in town. So this is just me. I'm in a different room today. I'm actually. This is my closet right here. I got my graphics tablet and everything just sitting behind me and stuff and yep i'm just sitting down today because i just went and like walked up the hill and stuff <laughs> so i'm all tired like we have a really steep hill by my house so walking up that hill it'll get you so i'm just taking it easy right now and exporting these layers for this animation here so that's we got this layer is layer two okay the bike is also a layer And then the last one will be the stars. Ooh, I hope this all works. But uh, you know, when it doesn't work and you have to do it again, you get better at it the second time. <clears throat> this bike, the whole image just for that bike. Um, okay, we got the light. Oh, the stars go on top of the light. That's nice. Put the stars in there. This is Xero Surface 4. There we go. Nice. We got them all. So I'll turn them all back on now so we can see what this image is supposed to look like when it's all said and done approximately. These, these clouds, I'm going to use some different clouds and stuff in the game. Oh, yeah. Day 400. That was yesterday. And then day 401 was a YouTube video. What's up, Sean, Davis, yo, <laughs> shame on you, shame, 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 
Okay, so this is the image I want to go for. I'm, I'm going to animate and do a parallax effect. So the, this is a foreground rock here. This foreground rock parallaxes. There'll be several layers of clouds, three layers of clouds just between here and this tower and land and stuff. And then there'll be three more layers of clouds really faint in the back. And then there's this background and then the stars actually sit on top of things. So they glow. So, um, yeah, and then I'll probably work on this art to make this even better. Maybe I'll animate the, uh, this is a Raimi, this is a giant Raimi floating over here. All right, so that's what my goal is today. So we got two hours on this stream. Let's see if I can get that done in two hours. If I can get this done and be happy with this um, in two hours, that'd be pretty cool because this is a whole kind of section of the first cutscene of the intro. And then this is the bike too. So you'll be flying along with your bike and then lightning bolt, bam, you fall. So there's still a lot of art left to do in this image, but I'm just getting it started and set up exporting all the layers and all that kind of stuff and get it animating in the game so that it can look cool. You can tell it's it's actually a lot wider than the game is. The game is like this wide about, actually it's about, it's, the normal game is usually about like that big. And there's this extra room for iPad. And then we got all this other extra room for parallaxing the scene. So that's it. We got this image ready to go. Things are exported. So now it's time to code and make this all come to life. Come to life. I breathe you life. Uh. Um, what the hell is I gonna do again? I forgot what I was gonna do already. Uh. <laughs> all right, man, see you over, Kaiser. Oh, tornado warning. Oh shit, dude. Um, don't you have to? Do you have like a tornado shelter or something? Intro two layer. Now, okay. Here's where I'm gonna work with the scenes and stuff. And <clears throat> we want to skip to the intro, so we start playing this right away. And the first scene I want to do is Xera Surface. And now we'll get this set up so we have an Xera Surface. Copy Bellatrix for a second. Kind of sleepy today. I might fall asleep on the stream. So you guys got to wake me up. <laughs> uh. Whoa, crazy. <laughs> I'm out of points. Wait, wait. Oh, there we go. I had 500 points. Oh. Oh, that's good. Xera surface. I can't spell or type for shit today. Xera surface. Okay, so we're gonna start with the background. Xera surface zero. Ah. 
Azrin is killing it. Okay, so every one of these layers is going to be parallaxed a little bit. Xera surface one. <laughs> oh man. Oh geez, don't play one of those during the tornado. You'd be freaked out. You'd be like, oh no! <laughs> I love it. I only have 180 points right now. This is great. Oh, dang. Now I'm rich. I'm rich! <laughs> totally cheating. I'm giving Bafu one more point. He totally deserves it. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Spaceman Name? How'd he do? I'm working on this right now, making this parallaxed in the game, so I'm coding. Working on the code to make us all like six, like six or seven different layers or so, counting all these cloud layers. Yeah, and that's gonna be all parallaxed. Should be look should look pretty good once it's all said and done. Sprite zero, sprite one. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so they're gonna start. Let's see. Everything starts. Uh, right on. Thanks, man. Yeah, hopefully it turns out good. Once it's like you know, I, the part I'm I want to get right with this is the the bike flying in and then getting hit by lightning. So, it's got to feel right, you know? So, but I'm just going to get it set up, the scene set up like this first. Okay, so if, I think they got to like, the two, all the layers need to be, a, I think, aligned to the right side of the screen. And then, they all shift. Except for, I don't know. This is the parallax part. I'm just gonna use the WTF method here. Oh, also the parent layer can move, that's right. Oh, yeah, the parent layer can move, I forgot about that. Okay, so in general, the parent layer should move to the left. I want this scene to all like feel like it's flowing to the left. So we're gonna align things to the right and then move them to the left. This is gonna, their anchor points are gonna be 1.0, 0, 0.0, right? I think so. Maybe 0 0.5. Oh, and this is going to be... When 
windsize.x and this is windsize.y times a half. I think this one's the same to start with. I'm not sure though. Might have to move it a little. And then they have the same anchor point. This one's at zero, this one's at one. What? Oh. Num intro scenes not equal to num lines. Well, let's take a one away, eh? Oh yeah, I removed I removed that line. That's right. Oh yeah, nice. But not the right uh not the right parallax. Oh but yes, oh once this song gets said no, I can't wait. I can't wait. This is gonna be awesome. I realized I drew this in more detail than I needed to, actually. I started drawing this. It's not all finished yet. Okay. Um, the movement was wrong. Movement's still wrong. Move by int. Oh, whoops. It's this one. This one right here. Negative 160 over total. Oh, total is the number of times we're running this particular scene. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that first. So let's say maybe it moves a whole negative 100 from X. Oh, and this also matters where it's setting that position. Okay, let's see what we got. Oops, okay, it's moving the wrong way, but... Oh, and they're moving exactly the same. So, why does this move by int? It's only one pixel. I don't know, okay, so let's get it moving the right way. Um, let's get it moving some per eye. Negative 10, maybe, times I. Mm. There we go. All right, yes, and we've seen a tiny bit of parallax there. Very cool. Um, 
Let's see if we can move that up so it's way more per layer. Baby. Baby, I'm streaming right now. Will you oh, shut the door? What's up? I was going to have you help me get the ratchet straps off the top. I don't know how to do that. Oh, I'll, it out. I'll come help you. I'll come help you. One sec. Everybody. Sorry. He only put one on, so it'll come off fast. I'm sorry. No worries, no worries. I'll be right back, guys. One sec. And a bit. Image ruined. Your code doesn't work and nothing's wrong. What? What what part of it doesn't work? Oh. Okay, let's start throwing on these other layers. We need some clouds though. Well, we can just throw in all the layers first. I believe right there was four layers. And between, let's see, between layers, um, sheets, backgrounds, etc. Oh, nice. Intro to, okay, there, zero and one. All right, okay, yeah, there's clouds between zero and one, and clouds between one and two. So, let's 
So the clouds are going to be, let's make this two, and then four and five. Yes! Killing it. All right, and we need to make all these pointers here. So just loops over these. Does a parallax effect. See how it goes. Come on, parallax effect. Let's look really neat. Have everything, all the pieces of the puzzle. Oh, the stars shouldn't parallax. <laughs> it's really weird. Why is it jittering back and forth? What the hell was that? Let's try to move by. Oh, it might have been moved by. Yeah. That's way better. Except that I want the bike to move a lot faster. So if I is uh, zero, one, two, three, this needs to move. X, I guess. If I is three, X is like five times as fast. Whoops. <laughs> Man, I am a little sleepy today. I'm just I'm just making excuses though. I'm trying to be all defensive. Being defensive. Never gets you anywhere really. In my opinion. There we go. Hey, look. Oh, it almost looks right. We need some clouds. We need a lightning bolt. We need some stars. Where's Xerus surface? Oh, there's five of them. Okay. One more there. Oh, we don't need to move it though. No parallax for the stars. Huh, I just had this crazy little insight. The floating point zero is always, doesn't matter what platform you're on, because the floating point zero will always be represented accurately. Whereas 1.0 is not necessarily accurate because 1.0 could be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2. But because the way the floating point bits work, you got like five bits of your exponent and five bits of your digits. So, or 24 bits of your digits, whatever. Um, that, that, if, you, if the, all the bits are zero, it's going to be zero. Guaranteed. Wow. Zeros are guaranteed floating points, I think. Am I right? Does anybody else know what I'm talking about here? On the inside here? Are there any OSs or whatever that would represent zero is not quite zero? What's up, Zaldongs? How you doing today, man? What you working on? We're just all hanging out. See, I drew I drew this all like so big that we wouldn't necessarily need these um What the hell? Where the hell are they? Letterboxing. Here we go. 
Let's just turn that off. Okay, so I put it at zero. I put these all like Huh, I guess if I don't have the letterboxing that's going to look weird. Let's see how it goes when it's in the flow of all these where it should be. Took a long nap? Oh man, sounds good. Sucks you have a cold though. Yeah, yep, Xera's a planet. I'm trying to make this come to life here, this scene. So let me see if that feels right with the timing of this whole animation and everything. I'm trying to see if that scene fits into the intro there at the end. Gotta work on these stars still. I want one more scene. Actually, <laughs> I wanna see that right now. Um, the last scene with Jib standing Actually, these two. I want these to both be Songbringer. What is it? Aft? What's it called? Songbringer. It's just called Aft. Oh, yeah. Aft. Aft. <laughs> oh, wait. Who is this? Where am I? What's up, John? Okay, so I'm trying to look at the overall flow of this animation. There's there's several parts of this cutscene which are unfinished. They're just like really sketchy pieces of art. Um, but I'm just trying to see what it feels like overall in context. You know, are are these are these scenes in the right places in the right order? Okay, gotta work on the, this last bit. I think this last part right here should be Xerta surface. Should start there. It's 
All right. Yeah, I know. I know. It's not music yet. Yes, the pixel grid is enforced in the game, but not in the cutscenes. So these cutscenes you're seeing right here, the pixel grid is isn't perfect. Made anchor? Yeah, laid anchor. Yeah. They lay that's what their term is for landing on a planet. It's laying anchor. So, okay. Is there a surface? I wanted that to to go a little slower overall so if i had three of those together for example so i'm going to go back and work keep on working on the xera surface part yeah so so like it looks really good in the game to have the game all per pixel perfect but like it doesn't look that good for the cutscenes to not be pixel perfect so i draw everything in the in the in the cutscenes this is all pixel perfect art it's just that it does it a lot when it's with the layers that move are like they can't they are not aligned perfectly on the pixel grid so it looks better for the cutscene but yeah it's kind of going go it kind of cheats on my my own rule or whatever of i don't know i guess i could try i could try rendering everything through the back buffer might be worth trying at some point be like ah, let's see how the all the intro cutscenes look with it running through the back buffer instead of just, um, you know, being all crisp and clean and all that, how it is right now. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna keep on working on Sarah's surface. So I'm gonna get three of them in a row. So I can see what they look like all in time. together and I need to start adding clouds so that's the next thing get those cloud layers in there and then <clears throat> yeah just make sure the overall timing works so yeah right now it's eating up a lot of that time with the ship or the bike moving that fast but that's kind of cool oh I didn't move that far So the parallax duration is seen duration times total. Yeah. It's seen total percent. Yeah. All right. So that I think should keep the, the overall movement of the scene. Right. Let's see if it does. bike might be a little big still too. What? That was weird. It's like it started going backwards there for a second. Okay, so clouds. Clouds, clouds, clouds. We need some. We want some. Gotta have some clouds. Move across the sky. Where do I put, where is that other cloud layer? Title scene? Title layer. Title BG. I thought it was clouds. Or 
Oh yeah, these are all, those are not the clouds I want. These are not the clouds you were looking for. But wait, wait, what was, what the hell were they? Not title. Backgrounds, background clouds. Yeah, cloud zero, clouds one, okay. So we got clouds, zero, clouds one, And these are going to get parallaxed um, between, yeah, right. It's just going to go smash this. Let's put three of these. They all need to be. Like opacity out. Um, pretty maybe like twenty percent. Fifty one. And these, now that there's so many layers too, we'll probably need to really reduce how much each layer is being parallaxed. Um, oh, and this one moves 1.1, or this Z is 1.1, 1.2. Okay, let's see if we got clouds now. And the bike stopped moving. It's weird how it moves backwards at the end. I don't know what's going on there. It's freaking me out. Oh, these are the background clouds. That's why. Oh, they might be gigantic. Dang, man. 97, huh? Well, you go second now? Yeah. 
love you, sugar muffin. I love you, baby. Mm -hmm. Have a good time. We will. We'll be back early, probably. Bring me back some food if you can. Okay, okay. Just doesn't have to be a whole, just a little nugget of something. A little nugget of something? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Just a little nugget for a little old nap. Right? <laughs> a little right. nugget of something. You got it, sugar. Okay. <clears throat> right. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I know. Hmm. So to be able to see what's going on here, I think I'm going to put all these above start with. So I'm going to do the foreground first. Yeah, it'd probably be help. It probably would help a lot here to cut, to like, turn off the letterboxing for a second. This is all. Uh, this is gonna take a minute here to get this all clicking, humming. Okay, cool. Now I'm finally seeing some clouds. That's good. Something is really going on really weird with this parallax movement. Oh, if i equals 3 times 5. Oh, I did times 5 on the loud, the wrong one. Whoops. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Shoot, which one is the bike? Uh, bike is three. Bike is three. That's S three. This is the last one. This should be something.
getting hungry. What should I have for dinner? Ooh, we got sausage. Sausage and cabbage. Yay! Cabbage! This is all, this is... Okay, first of all, these clouds need to be down at the bottom. Zero, zero, zero. Mm hmm. Now they're now they're even higher. I thought I put you at zero. Oh, because they have the pause. You don't need the pause like that. Pause that Y is zero, yo. No more of that. No more of that funky pausing. Okay, closer. Closer. So we need the clouds further down. Just a wee bit. Well, they're scaled. They're vec. Why? Closer. Huh, it's almost right. The second one. WTF method gets me through everything. So that's 24 times I. Should be more like 16. That should be like minus 24. Clouds are not moving fast enough. Oh. Hmm. Yes, nice. Congrats.
So they're like not stretching across the whole screen or what are they doing here? Oh yeah, I did. I used like too much scale there. Zeed, what's up Zeed? Yo man, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi Ben. Sorry, I'm kind of sleepy today. Didn't get enough sleep last night. Sometimes I stay up too late watching TV and movies and stuff, and then I'm tired the next day. Okay, it's getting closer to being right. The clouds cover things up nicely. It looks good. And maybe uh, maybe that just needs more um, more per like 22 ish. How you been, man? What's new in your world? Didn't you get a puppy? Okay, now I just need to be lower again. 52, maybe. Starting to look good actually. Let's do all three of the bottom, the background layers now. And these ones need to be scaled smaller, maybe like 6-2. So the goal here is to have like six layers of clouds. There's four different layers of the scene. And if this is all, if I can get this to all like line up right, yeah, it's just starting to work. Yeah, all right, cool. Um, the, the, oh, I want the background to move slower. And the second, the foreground layers to move faster. So the foreground. Oh, wait, wait, we already got these set up. Okay, so. C2, S1. C3, C4, C5, S2, S3. Mike's too big still. It's so weird how it does that that weirdness at the end like that. Uh, okay, but I'll focus on first. I'll focus on the clouds, getting them to be about the right height, the right movement, and stuff. And then once this is all said and said and done, I can finally turn on the. Maybe I 
actually the scene should move a little going upwards too. Yeah. Let's move the scene a little. So I think 60. Let's go to 62. Because I want to see what it looks like again with letterboxing. Letterboxing back on. Wrong way. You guys see that? The stars were too high. What's up, Boogie? Howdy, brother. Sorry, I'm kind of sleepy today. But so is the chat, so it's cool. It's nice. Just trying to get this uh, layer all parallaxed out. This scene here is the, here's the drawing. Just parallaxing all these layers and stuff. Clouds. Why aren't the? I'm really weird. Like the movement of some of these is just totally wrong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. Mr. Rogers' shoes is the coolest name. What's up, Mr. Rogers' shoes? Yeah, yeah, I just thought I'd do what I could to like, keep going. Like, oh well, I might as well. It's Saturday, might as well. Got nothing going on, except for game development today. So the thing is like, the clouds, I want it all to move. I want the clouds to move more. And if I jack up this number right here, I don't think that's gonna help. It might actually make it worse. 
So maybe I need to reduce that number. WTF method gets me through it every time. See that the foreground layer of clouds is like it's like they're almost not even moving. goes backwards. What? what is up with that backwards movement? So, oh, right? Okay, what if it's only the small number? Negative five times I. Oh wait, oh it could be this thing. 80, What up? Just playing with the variables. Playing with them until something works. That's what I do every time. So now they're not even moving as much. stops moving. Oh, holy crap. This is supposed to be total the whole time. That should help. It's moving to hell is slow. That's better. So maybe that needs to be 200. 200, 100, something like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, totally. Tweening and all that. Yeah. Kind of what this is. What's up, Brubba? Thanks, man. Hope I can get I can do the pixel art some honor here and just finish it. Finish this in. See the clouds are the clouds are still too. The front ones need to be more opaque. And they need to move more. Why is this not moving as much anymore? Oh, might be this. They're happy clouds. They're happy. I think the front ones need to be a little more opaque. And maybe they need to go down a little farther. They just need to move more. They're like one of the last one. They're. Oh, I could see. I could see them not moving actually if they're. Hmm. Like maybe this needs to be cranked way higher. To get them to move more than the than the actual parent layer is moving, 
that's what makes this all kind of complicated is there's a lot of layers moving and then there's also the parent layer moving so yeah look at that if I put it up high it starts going backwards it's kind of cool but kind of weird the stars oh the stars don't look right What's up, Ragu? The game is coming along very well. It pleases me. It's very, very awesome to be making a game that you that I love. I love this. I love this style of games. Why, so of course, why I chose it you know, to make it. But yeah, it's very fulfilling. Yeah, the camera did look like it was orbiting. Hey, here we go. This is kind of what I was thinking. Oh, finally. Now if I can just put the stars in the right layer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking the whole time, except for the bike. So yep, I'm just fuddling with magic numbers right now until this all works. Okay, he might be moving a little too fast. That's in the foreground layer. He needs to move a little farther down. I think the clouds didn't quite, they moved a little too far there. Little by little, little by little, this is getting there. So the bike moved too fast. Let's put that down to negative two. I'm really curious about trying this with uh, rendering this all to the back buffer so it's all pixel perfect. There should be a few more. Or maybe the, the foreground layers shouldn't be so far apart. Maybe they should be like this. Actually, they probably do need to be more like at least four apart. Little by little. Lots of little adjustments until the whole scene just looks, until it pops, you know what I mean? You start with some art, it doesn't look as cool, and then eventually it pops. You're like, yeah, that's it, that's it. Okay, and I do think these, um, these opacities should get like Crazy opaque. 158 minus. Oh, I was moving the wrong, I was adjusting the wrong number there. <laughs> minus 30 would give us down to, yeah, 32, I guess. And then this number here should be less, 14 maybe. Okay, I do, I gotta do something about that foreground layer foreground layer um, this one no wait four shoot shoot there it is two layer two this one Bum, 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 bum. 
ba, ba. Okay, now the, the foreground layers are way too... Way too opaque. Either that, or they could be that opaque, but, well, no. I'd like them to be a little less opaque, at least. Let's go like 112 minus 22 and change the color. I'm going to change the color of these to be more fit with this scene. This would be an excellent color, I think. We'll max brightness. Maybe take the saturation down a little. Start, start with that color. I could blend. Oh, that's a good idea. I'll blend. What? It translates the title into Creature Creative? Oh, oh, because it Google translates it? Yeah, yeah, it's it's not being creative, it's um it's the it's the t the group or what whatever um whatever game I'm playing. This is your game or whatever you're supposed to be streaming. The game is they, they made this whole category called creative. Yeah, so being creative, yeah. It's a creature in your language? Really? <laughs> yeah. Alento creative. Alento means creature? It's totally translated wrong. What language is what language is that? Oh, being also translates into creature. Oh, crazy. Yeah, totally. We got way too many words that that can mean the same thing, don't you think? Okay, now I've got two colors I can blend. And so I'll set these foreground layers. Actually, I'll just set them all. No, let's set color. Mix. Oh, finish. Yes, definitely. Definitely. They should. Twitch, please please hire Roiku to translate into Finnish. That'd be nice. Let's see. Alpha is going to be 0 0.1.0 oh, minus 0 0.1 times I. See if those color mixes are, are right. I don't know. Yeah, those are a bit too pink. But it's actually, that's looking pretty nice. Oh, playing. Yeah, we say playing. You liked it like that? I'm not going to change it too much. I want it to be a tiny bit lighter.
Yeah, maybe that was better, actually, a little more saturated. So that was like 13 before. I'll go to like 9. I know, right? That would be great if my ID could do that. But nope. Okay, the, the foreground clouds are just kind of packed on top of each other now. So they need a little less here, and a little less, or a little more there. I was like, Bleep. Bleep. Awesome, this is kind of looking good. Except for those clouds at the very end being off the screen. So we could do a copy of each one. Wait, was that the background ones or the foreground ones? I can't remember. I can't remember if it was the background or the foreground that needed to change. Oh, the background clouds. Oh, they need to go higher. Okay, it is the background clouds. Oh, and the foreground clouds. Me. Okay, that starts them all wrong, but let's see if that helps them end better. Oh, maybe it just shouldn't move as far. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's not do anything to pause X, and then it just won't move as far like this. Let's make that 180. Let's see if that's too little. I think it works. Why 
do you keep indexing? Hmm. Okay, so the foreground layer needs to be more detailed. The background needs to be finished. The stars need to be on the right. They're in the background layer so they don't conflict with all this and do this weird. Okay, that. What? That worked, but it. So that means I need to get rid of the stars, which I think are this one, yeah. I need to re-render the stars. Free parking. What? I just made more room there. So bike scene three and four, we don't need those anymore.
Almost got this. I think this is pretty good for a good for getting started. Really, all I wanted to do for today's stream was just to get this um get these layers parallaxed and put in there. So later on tonight, I'll do a letter, a, another pixel art session. Work on the foreground art. Work on the the art there for the tower and the land. Make the clouds look a little better. Oh, it's still not. It feels like it changes every time. Change it to like this variable and then it's like... Okay, we're running one more time. so close yeah there we go okay so with a little more refinement that could be Excellent. Let's see it one last time now in, in the context of the whole cutscene. And I'm going to listen to the music this time because I want to get it in my head what I want to do for the actual music. This has always been kind of like a just a placeholder ambience. I want to actually put some music here and make it kind of exciting. I need to fix the pixel art there for his hand. It doesn't look that good. Gotta fix that. Make that look good. I'd like to see the star Bellatrix becoming all the way in frame there. We only gotta see half of it, so that that's a slight adjustment, but that'll make it look pretty cool. It's kind of neat seeing that happen if I fast forward. Oh, what's this going so fast this time for? I think that scene is really helping it to kind of tell the story better. It was really weird though that I had three of them there and then three of them here and it didn't, it wasn't the same timing. I don't know. Shall figure it out later though. So that's it for today's stream. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. Have a good day. Enjoy yourselves. And, um, yeah, this next release for Songbringer, the update will be coming out tomorrow night. Beta version coming out on Steam. So that'll have the new Swordless Dungeon and this, these little adjustments to the intro. There's also a little another scene um, when you go into the first Swordless Dungeon. There's a cool scene there. So, yeah, see you guys. Thanks for watching. Laters.